Inflammation is one of those words that get thrown around so much in fertility that it almost loses its meaning a bit like RBS, PCOS. It becomes pretty much a label rather than an explanation because inflammation can mean a billion different things. And the real question is never, do I have inflammation? It's actually where it's coming from. And when we talk about fertility, chronic inflammation is a problem because it makes your body feel unsafe. And when your body doesn't feel safe, reproduction is simply not its priority. Now, where does inflammation actually come from? It's often a combination of what you're eating, how stressed you are, how you're moving your body, and yes, your environment. And the bad news is that we can't control those environmental factors frequently. I can't control what the factory down the road is blowing into the air. And yes, that matters more than actually everyone likes to admit. If you want to scare yourself a little, look up cancer rates by suburb. You can do this here in Australia. I did it. And shit. But the unfortunate truth is, I can't change this. I can move if I want to, obviously, but I can't change it because they do whatever they need to do. Things are out of our control. So let's focus on the things we actually can control. Now, if you're chronically stressed, your nervous system is constantly switched on and then your immune system is also activated and then inflammation follows. If you don't move your body, your lymphatic system becomes stagnant and detox just can't happen. And then the inflammatory waste quite literally stay stuck in your body. And if you also keep eating foods your body clearly doesn't tolerate, you will create inflammation, full stop. It's not about blaming, it's just creating an awareness. And before you say, I should be able to eat everything in moderation because this is what everybody's telling me. Sure, go ahead, eat whatever you want. I don't care. But if you are bloated all the time, you're covered in pimples, you're constipated, you have diarrhea, you're exhausted, losing hair, you're feeling awful in your body, then your body is speaking to you very clearly. And if you choose not to listen, that's your choice and that's fine. It's your body, your life. I'm just a messenger here. Does inflammation guarantee infertility? Of course not, it doesn't. Bodies are complex. Some bodies handle inflammatory load much better than others. And the younger you are, the more resilient you usually are. But the older you get, the more things actually matter. And if your goal is not just to get pregnant, but to stay pregnant, reducing unnecessary inflammatory load becomes a non-negotiable. And no, I can't promise you a pregnancy. I don't have a magic wand. I'm not Jesus, can't walk over water. But I can promise you that I will look as deep as possible to unburden your body as much as possible and support it so reproduction actually has a chance to be prioritized. If you want a roadmap for that, join my fertility circle. You don't have to, of course. You can also use my free content, scroll through it, and you'll find so many nuggets that can help you.